Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, what the hell is? Hellas Lager is a 5.5% lager from Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. One of the biggest trends of this past summer beer festival was the real resurgence. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but the resurgence, I guess, of lagers. And I had a really cool conversation with Travis from Old Nation about this. You can find a link to that interview below this video, and I'll link it up in the corner at some point. But it got me thinking. I don't know if I've ever had a true straight-up lager from Old Nation. Well, folks, that all changes today. Hellas Lager is here on the counter, and I'm ready to rip into it. Now, you might be saying, I know what a lager is, but what the Hellas is a Hellas Lager? Well, Hellas means pale in color, and Hellas Lagers are usually a little fuller body than regular light lagers. They have a, a bit of a sweetness, but it's balanced with a spicy German hop flavor. So let's get this somewhat limited brew into a glass. I'll let you in on the secrets it beholds. Fun fact, Weihenstephan is the oldest brewery in the world continuously brewing beer since the year 1040, 1040, 1040, a long time ago, almost a thousand years. So I have an Old Nation pint glass here today. Uh, I don't get a chance to use the brewery glass with the beer, but it, pint glass kind of goes with lagers, so I figured it'd be a good time to, to showcase that. And let's take a look at the label here. So this goes a little bit different than most of Old Nation's labels. This one is off-white, which most of them have been, but it introduces yellow, which I don't know if yellow, besides the dry honey size on, if yellow's been a big color in their labels, but this one's just a little bit different. It says Old Nation Brewing in this oval, and it says unfiltered and unpasteurized Hellas Lager, Williamston, Michigan, 5.5% alcohol by volume, IBU 18, 16 fluid ounces. And then on the side here, it says, what you're holding in your hand is a Hellas style lager, the result of over 100 years of German brewing tradition. Soft, subtle, and so clean, you can taste the feel the barley grew in. Less is more in these lagers, and the balance is a final goal. The yeast, time, and technique we put into our Hellas create light notes of honey and soft, herbal hops with just a hint of balancing bitterness. Subtlety can't be faked. That's why this one's one of our favorite styles to make and drink. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy the balance in everything. And that is a quote from Travis Fritz, the owner of Old Nation Brewing Company. Then on the other side, it has the government warning, brewed and canned by Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan, Old Nation Brewing Company's logo, and it says drink responsibly, has the independent craft beer logo. Now this one was uh, canned on June 12, 2019. It's about early August, uh, getting close to mid-August. Sunday, the August 11th is when I'm recording this. So this one's been kind of limited on shelves. I kind of had a look around for it. You might see it still out there. I know I'm a little bit behind the times, but all that summer beer fest coverage kind of put me behind and some trying some of these beers. And this is one that I wanted to try for the channel. So let's get a, a nose out of the can here. It has a real typical kind of lager scent to it. Uh, has uh, You can smell a little bit of the yeastiness, the breadiness in there. I want to say there's a little bit of a sweetness coming through there, but let's go ahead and pour this. I'm going to turn the logo so it doesn't get in the way of the pour. And that's coming out really golden, crisp, and clear out of the can. It's got a nice about two fingers worth of head immediately. Um, you should be able to see that it's got a nice head on it on the side, has a nice bit of carbonation kind of swirling up, streaming up. It's not too crazy. It's not like this constant stream of carbonation, but it does have a really nice, uh, some streaming carbonation. It's very golden here sitting in the glass and the head's dissipating quite a bit. Let's hold it up to the light here. That is really just a really nice, clear, golden, golden lager. I mean, it's really nice. It looks really crisp. Let's put a better nose. Oh, nice, really bright white head on it. Again, getting a lot of this, I'm getting a bit of a honey scent out of it. I'm getting, um, I'm getting like a bready, kind of yeasty, malty kind of smell. It smells like what you would expect a Pilsner to smell like. Um, just kind of like think of your typical kind of macro beer. If you just, if you ever sit, I know a lot of people that drink beer probably don't sit and smell the beer to smell, you know, to get those smells out of it. But if you ever sit and smell a beer, this is what a macro kind of style beer, this is what this smells like. So get ready to dive in. Cheers. It has a really clean, crisp mouthfeel, very light in the mouth, not not heavy, not, you know, not even a shade towards medium. It's really nice and really crisp.
When I draw it in, I'm getting the sweetness out of it immediately. It has like a bit of a honey kind of taste to it. And at first, it, it has a lot of that bready kind of characteristic, but then it opens up right somewhere in the middle of it kind of sitting in your mouth right before the swallow it really opens up and that's when a lot of this really honey kind of crispness comes through and then on the swallow itself it's like as you hold it in your mouth you 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 i'm holding on to it and then that that honey just kind of leaves you in anticipation because you can tell there's something going on in there and then it just opens up across your tongue it really widens up and the taste after that, it has a little bit, like I said, of a spiciness, a spicy note to it. And that spiciness also carries with it a little bit more sweetness. And then the aftertaste is this kind of bready, uh, crackery kind of um, taste at the end, along with this the aftertaste has a bit of that spicy, kind of peppery quality in there. Um, just kind of really nice and pleasant all the way through. Sweetness at the beginning, you get kind of like the swallow is where the kind of the, the yeasty, kind of bready quality comes through, a little bit of a spiciness again. The aftertaste kind of settles and it has like a peppery spiciness to it. Very crisp, very, um, just kind of refreshing. It's It's got a nice flavor to it throughout. It's a little bit different than if you're thinking you're gonna get something like just a regular kind of run-of-the-mill Pilsner. If you think you're gonna get something like a macro lager, it's not like that. It, it's a little bit more complex than that. You can tell when you drink it that there's a little bit more going on. Very crushable. On the aftertaste, again, there's like a bit of a I said there's like a peppery spicy note, but there's also this kind of a little bit of like a, I'm getting a, a little bit of this floral kind of taste in there as well. It's complex enough that it's it's accessible, but complex. Like it's something where you can drink it and you, if you drink it kind of quick and you just kind of gulp it down, you're not gonna get all these really kind of complex flavors. If you sit and you're like, you know, you're doing like I am and you're sitting here and you're, you're contemplating it or analyzing it a little bit in your brain, then, you know, then you kind of pick up on these different, on these different flavors and it is very complex. There's a lot of different steps in the flavor to it. But I think that if you, um, like I said, it's just accessible, but complex enough. It's one where, I don't think it's gonna supplant or it's not gonna replace any kind of macro style. If you still go, if your go-to lager is still a macro, if it's like a Coors Light or something like that, I think this is gonna be a little bit more complex than that. But if you're looking for more of a thinking man's kind of lager or Hellas lager specifically, uh, and you're gonna get, you wanna get that sweet but spicy note, this is a really good beer for that. If that is not something that you're looking for or something that you don't wanna put a lot of thought into it, I don't know if this one's gonna be for you, but I think, you know, during this hot summer, you want a crisp kind of beer to just refresh you, cool you off. I think Hellas Lager from Old Nation definitely fits the bill. All right, friends, that has been Hellas Lager from Old Nation Brewing Company. Like I said earlier, you can check out my interview with Travis. It's gonna be linked below this video if you wanna hear more about what Old Nation's about or if you wanna hear some of their upcoming plans. So have you had Hellas Lager or do you have a favorite German style? Let me know in the comments down below this video. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might wanna subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer, mostly Michigan beer, twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also, I wanna start incorporating your questions. I know I've been saying this a lot in the last couple of videos, but I wanna start incorporating your questions into these episodes. So if you have any questions, you can leave them on the Draft Therapy Hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. One last thing, you can join in the conversation about craft beer at the Discord link below this video. You can hook up with some of your fellow fans. We're always there talking about beer, different types of beer all over the country, all over the world for that matter. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.